Hello, and welcome back to Hitman 2 and the featured contracts, and today's contract, Love and Death, set in the landslide map of Sapienza. So today's briefing, Good Day 47, hmm, this is interesting. It seems with just a little outside interference, this contract will pretty much complete itself. No guns, no explosions violence. Be patient 47. Observe and you shall be rewarded. Oh, and try to blend in, will you? Or you'll be the next big story on the radio. Good luck, agent. And today's contract has been brought to us courtesy of Double Drop UK. So, for this challenge we have two targets. One we need to kill with poison in our suit. One we need to kill while dressed as the Bohemian any way we see fit. Any shots fired must be at an NPC and must hit. And we cannot pacify anybody during the mission. So for this challenge I have decided to bring with me my ever trusty lockpick, some lethal poison, the Seeker 1 make you sick dart gun, a briefcase and a rude ruby stored up in the ICA hut. So, right from the start, off the bat, what we're going to do is make our way towards the crypt of the church. And we're going to retrieve our lockpick from our briefcase and make our way into the crypt. Keep up, 47, come on. Get that door open. So we're going to make our way around to our left and we're going to just drop the briefcase on the floor here. We're going to make our way over to the tombs, one of which has three coins around it. We're going to collect up those three coins. We're going to make our way along on the right hand side of the door, open the door, throw one of our coins inside, and we're just going to wait around the corner here. And the church staff member will see our briefcase and they will cart it off, either out through the side door like this gentleman is, or back up into the church. Either way, when he's gone, we are free to retrieve our coin. We're going to make our way into the priest's private cell, and we're going to take out the surveillance system once inside. Just because we have a number of cameras that we will have to avoid, and we can't shoot them. So with the surveillance system taken out, we can now move on and we're going to go and retrieve our rude ruby gun from the ICA safe house. So out of the crypt the same way we came in, we're going to make our way straight up the main road leading towards the Caruso Villa. On the way there, what we're going to do is we're going to just show you this. You don't need to stop and do this. But this is our second target here, with his fiance. And if we do nothing to him, eventually, uh, Mr. Abietti will come along and they will have a little photo session together. So here he comes now, and essentially he will whisk this young lady off her feet, causing her to dump her fiance and those two will then split up essentially and leaving the gentleman heartbroken and it's at that point where we will be coming back to deal with him like I said you don't have to wait around for this you don't have to trigger anything we could go straight on to the ICA safe house but I just thought I'd show you in a bit of context what's going to happen later on as this is apparently a bit of an easter egg so Mr. Abiati is now wooing the young lady in front of the camera they will proceed to split up mostly just by her walking off and ignoring the gentleman breaking his heart
So that's basically all set up for the kill later on. Like I said, you don't have to do anything for that. That will all take care of itself. So now that's over and done with, we're going to continue on to the ICA safe house. And we're going to wait just by the door up here. And as you can see, there are a number of suits around. One of these suits is going to come over and check this door. This door is locked, by the way, and we don't have a key. So the guard's going to come and open the door, and he's just going to stand in that doorway before moving on to the shop next door. Now, if you can make it through this door once he vacates the area, you won't need to lock pick it, just like I managed there. But if the door does close on you, wait for the guard to go into the shop next door and then just lockpick the door and you'll be fine to get in. So once we're inside, we're going to make our way up to the ICA safe house. We're going to retrieve the Rude Ruby gun and we're going to exit the building. So we're now going to go and take care of our first target, which is the Bohemian, who is at the top of the town hall building. So we're going to exit the ICA safe house, run around the side of the town hall building to where we come to a guard merging with a van and around to the back door and we're going to ascend the drain pipe up to the second floor I believe it is and we're going to make our way in through the bathroom window. Now just outside of this room that we're in now this office is a guard so we need to get rid of him now if we time this right as in quickly enough and we get this all done we can get in and get the bohemian taken care of and get out before he returns from taking away the gun so what we've done there is just place the gun on the floor nice and visible collect the fire extinguisher off the wall throw the, the fire extinguisher against the wall next to the open door and the guard will come in to investigate he will find the gun we've planted and he will proceed to take that away so now if we can get going quickly enough instead of waiting for him to go down the stairs we're just gonna quickly bolt out of this room as fast as we can and up to the next floor out through the door on our left and around to where the Bohemian's apartment is and luckily for us the Bohemian is out at the window in the bathroom so we've got just enough time to sneak in add our lethal poison to his shisha pipe and then sneak back out again so any time now the Bohemian or the stoner dude will make his way back over to that shisha pipe and when he partakes, he will poison himself and get us our first kill. So chuff away on that pal. This stuff will knock your socks off. So target one taken care of with consumed poison. We're going to take his outfit because we need that for the second kill and we're now going to sprint our way back down the stairs into the stairwell and it's at this point we may need the Seeker 1 make you sick dark gun but we've managed to do that quick enough that the guard hasn't returned now if the guard has returned for you just shoot him and make him sick he will make his way into this bathroom you can follow him in and then out of the window and once out of the window we can re-descend down the drain pipe and we're now going to make our way back down towards the beach so all the way back down the main road once again and we are going to make our second target kill himself essentially this guy is close to the edge and he just needs a little push before he goes over so we can find our heartbroken, recently divorced, or soon to have been divorced, gentleman here. We're going to turn on this radio, and that's going to annoy him slightly, and he's going to get up and turn it off. 
and then he's going to go back to his moping and his broken heart and the trickster that we are and the jokester that we are we're going to turn the radio on again and move away to safe distance and again the gentleman will arise he will turn off the radio give us a dirty look and then go back and sit him down in his melancholy so we're going to turn on the radio one more time and that will push our next target over the edge and he is now going to run all the way around and along the pier and into the ocean and all we've got to do is watch so he's making his way down to the pier area now and he's literally just going to run right along the pier and off the edge and swim out to sea never to be seen or heard from again so there you go that's both targets taken care of no pacifications and no one shot not a single bullet so all we have to do now is make good our escape the nearest exit is in the center of town so that's another featured contract taken care of. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.